This is a very quick screencast recording where we're going to have a look at an Excel model that I've built to predict um, passenger traffic, uh, which is essentially populated here in the model, uh, looking at overall um, traveler statistics throughout the course of the day. And it's using essentially um, recent historical traveler statistics to try and predict what the following iterations throughout the course of the day look like and depending on depending on what that traveler number of traveler statistics looks like we trigger a low or a high um, alarm essentially going outside of the ranges so this is the the model we're working with and we're going to bring this into thingworks analytics manager to run uh, this excel model uh, feeding it data from ThingWorks, and I've colored the orange cells here. These will be the input parameters, and the green cells will be output parameters. Uh, output parameters being the results that will be fed back in through Analytics Manager. So let's have a look at the uh, XML schemas that have been set up. Uh, in order to do that, we need to create two XML schemas, one for the input and one for the output, which you see on the left uh, for the input and the right for the outputs. Um, and essentially I've just created one of these entries for each of the values that I've mapped out, uh, that I will be mapping to a cell, uh, and given it a, a particular name in an Excel data type. Um, so we here have here one value for each of the hours, the cumulative traveler total and the current hour. Uh, so that's all we need here. And then over here on the outputs. The outputs are just the, I've, I've put four potential uh, result values that we could re return. This high, high alert is actually an optional one. Um, and now from here, I need to go into Excel to essentially add these XML maps. And you may notice in the developer tab here, I don't have the possibility to do that in, as is outlined in the documentation. Okay, because I don't have access to this appropriate XML develop, part of the developer toolbar in Mac, I've come over to the Windows machine here. And I'm going to click Source. Now I have the XML Source panel that comes up on the side. And in order to add an XML map to this Excel spreadsheet, click on XML Maps, Add, Going to choose the inputs xsd file that i created that we just looked at also going to add the results at the same time and i've got to rename these so that they're appropriately named inputs and results rename results because these are what will be used in, by X analytics manager to uh, coordinate the mappings. Okay, now that I've created those, you can see here I have two XML maps in this workbook. I'm going to start with inputs, and now I have all the lists that were defined in that XML schema that I can just drag onto the particular cell over here. Not like that. Like that. And we're going to go down to, in the list, to cumulative travelers, current hour. Good. And they're bold when they've been mapped, so I'll map all these other ones later. But in the meantime, we can go over to the results. And now I can map the acceptable tolerance. I just want to send this back. Uh, to thing works so that if we change this in the model 15% right now if we change this in the model we can send that value back to thing works and the low alert this is just configured as a boolean we map it to there and the high alert we map it to here this final one high high alert is set up for future use um, not required but if we wanted to make another alert we could use it for that and that's all there is to it